Okay. Hey guys, in this video, we'll be talking about how to push your code to GitHub step by step, but we'll solve, we'll I'll explain in such a way that you will not encounter any errors. But of course, as a beginner, when you're trying my commands or any Git command, there will be some error here and there. So those things we'll be talking about in the next video. Okay, so this will be a plain and simple video with all the commands in a proper order. So let's get started. So let me share my screen and you will be looking at my screen too. And that's awesome, right? You can see it now. That's great. Awesome, so let's get started. Step number one, what you have to do before starting a project, what I usually recommend you guys, of course, open your uh, Edge or uh, Chrome, whatever you use. I basically use Edge a lot, okay? It's not that century when we used to hit as okay, so GitHub. Okay. So this is github.com. Okay. I will tell you to create a new repo for it. So like you can open it here. Okay, click on new. Click on the repo name. So like let's suppose let's give it like basics of git. Give it a name. Okay. Make it public so that uh, if you share the link or people can find it by link. If you make it private, you have to add the, their email IDs, then only you can see that. So then, then only they will be able to see your code. Okay, neglect these for now. Click on create run. So there are a number of things. So we'll keep understanding them throughout. Okay, as of now, just keep it here and let's come back. So what I'll do, I've created a folder, empty folder basically. So here in a folder, try get a basic name folder, which is empty. So I'm bring the folder here. And now what I'll be doing, okay, let's be here. Let that be at this particular place. Okay, so currently uh, I'll be taking a text file. So doesn't matter whether you know coding or does not know coding, you can basically learn it. Okay, so I'm just taking a text file name, okay. okay. So what will I, so I'll be pushing it into two steps. Step number one, push for the first time and push for the next time. There's a little difference, we'll understand that, okay? What is this thing that is popping up? No problem. Okay, it's a plain text. I can understand that. So let's give it hey. I am Abhishek. Okay, this is one particular file. You can have a lot of files. Let me quickly create few files. Hello. Then let's call it hello one. And let's call it hello two. So a few files are there. Hello two. Okay, so in the hello one, let's call it Hey, I am a CS graduate. Hello, too. Let's make it. How many hellos will you do? You know? How many hellos will you make? Okay, now these are text file, normal text file. Okay, why did it recommend it like this? But okay, it's our binary operator, I guess. Anyway, so we have three files. Now, what my aim is to push these three files to GitHub on that repo that we created. So, in general, what is a repo? Repo, you can think it like a folder on the internet, which you can, uh, from which you can download a piece of code at any given time. Okay, awesome. So now guys, let's have a look. Okay. So what you need to do, go to the top of it, you'll get an option for terminal here. Click on this, click on new terminal, and you'll be able to see the terminal. <laughs> Maybe. <coughs> you will not see this debug console, I have activated it basically, so you can click on this. If it is there, it will go. Okay, now we came here for the next thing. And what is the next thing? Now let's start the commands. Step number one, I think all of you have already installed Git. If it is, if the Git is not installed, do check out my previous video. Okay, so now uh, how should we basically continue? So the idea is quite simple. What you can basically do here, okay, we'll start. So step number one, right, Git status always. So Git status, okay. Oh my God, it is already there. Okay, in this particular folder. Okay, sorry for that. So what I'll do, I will remove Git from this folder and start it from the scratch. Maybe like uh, some time earlier, the Git may be there in that particular folder. So I will show you if Git is there, how can you identify it? Okay, step number one, neglect this message. I'll explain you. So when you are here, so this was the folder. So you can access the hidden folders of this. Command save dot. So you will see a dot Git folder. That means, yes, Git is there. So currently I'll delete this. So there will be no Git. Okay, if it is there, it has been deleted. Okay. 
Okay. So now we'll assume that there is no get. Not what to assume. Actually, there is no get. So what you can basically do now, right? Get statements. Get statements. So you get this uh, fatal message. Not a get repo. What does that basically means? That basically means, of course, git is recognized in your system, git is installed, but make sure that, okay, git is uh, like, what is it? You have initialized git in this particular folder. Okay, so in every different folders or in every project, you have to basically initialize the git to continue. So how can you initialize it? So the idea is quite simple. What you can basically write, you can basically write git, in it. git space init means initialize. So the git will be initialized and the folder that we have deleted it here. You can see the hidden folders, command save dot, what happened basically, command save dot. It did not came, I think it, it will be inside of this. Okay, so command save dot, you will have a dot git folder. So basically that means git is initialized here in simple words. Now what to do next? Let's check out the status. The status you can check as many times as you want. So I'm just showing you the status so that basically if you are in a particular stage, you can basically understand. So if you if this message is there, that means Git is not initialized. So you need to initialize Git. Now after initializing, if you see the status, these things will be in the red color. What are these? These are name of the file. Hello, hello one, hello two. What is it? Dot DS2. Oh, this is the Mac OS default. Okay. Okay, awesome. So now what I want, I want to push all these code to GitHub, okay? So, and I also don't want to push this file to basically GitHub. This is my Mac OS default. Why should I send it to you guys um, on GitHub? So what to do? So step number one, in case if you want to clean this, there has been a lot of mess here. So you can use control L if you are on a different operating system apart from Mac or you can, on Mac users can use command K. Also control L will also work. Okay. So now if you check its status, so you are here. So now basically what to do, you can do. I'm oh, sorry guys. Uh, that was a dangerous one, right? Awesome, no problem. So we are here and finally what I want to do, I want to do it here, get, and now, you can basically do here, like I want to add these things. What does add means? There's a next command called git add. So basically I'm adding all the files that need to be pushed to GitHub in that particular folder. Which folder? The folder that is it is created, okay? So whatever files will be added there, you, that file will be basically pushed to GitHub in general, okay? So there are two ways to do it. Step number one is git add, and you can write the file name, hello, hello one, whichever file you need to push, hello? To and click on enter. This is one way to do it. Okay, but this way I don't recommend it a lot because currently we have three files. In general, you have, we have 40 to 50 files and it will be difficult to write the names of all the files. You can understand that for big projects. What we usually do, we write dot. What does dot means? All the files that are present here, okay, will be added to GitHub. Now that also you don't want, you don't want one particular file to be added. Okay, so what you can do, you can use a dot, but you can remove some files. How to remove some files? You can have a file here which is called dot. Remember the dot git ignore. What will dot git ignore do? Like write the file name which you want to present here. So that file will not be pushed to uh, git in any case. So now, if you again check the git status, let's check it out. STA POS. You will see that particular file is not there. Of course, git ignore will be pushed. Okay, so what are the files that you ignore? But that file will not be pushed. So it's right, right? Nice, right? Awesome. So means uh, so now if you and now one more thing. Sorry. With status S T A T S. Okay, spelling mistake. So now you want to push all these files. So whenever these files are in red, understand that the file has not been added. Okay. Now I want to add all these files. So git add. So I'll first add one file just to show you. Hello. Okay. Now check out the git status. We'll see the file that has been added is of green color. The file that has not been added is of red color, right? Now I will add git add. Done. So you'll see some file has already been added. So the file that has been already been added will not be affected. The file which are in red will only be affected with this. Okay, so now again, check out the git status. And you are here. <laughs> so everything is basically awesome. That's really good. 
So now this is uh, where we are. Everything is here. Let's go to the next step. 